one and say him, let us. Thou art the Lord to whom praises are ascribed in the gnome of ADI, thou art the prince of divine food and Anu. Thou art the Lord who is commemorated in Mahdi, the hidden soul, the Lord of Kert, Alephantine, the ruler supreme in White Wall, Memphis. Thou art the soul of Ra, his own body, and hast thy place of rest in Hemensu, Heracleopolis. Thou art the beneficent one, and art praised in art. Thou make thy soul to be raised up. Thou art the Lord of the great house in Kamenu, Hermopolis. Thou art the mighty one of victories in Shaz H-A-T-E-K, the Lord of Eternity, the governor of Abydos. The path of his throne is in Tati C H E S E R, a part of Abydos. Thy name is established in the mouths of men. Thou art the substance of two lands, Egypt. Thou art Tem, the feeder of cow doubles, the governor of the companies of the gods. Thou art the beneficent spirit among the spirits. The god of the celestial ocean, Nu, draweth from thee his waters. Thou sendest forth the north wind at eventide, and breath from thy nostrils to the satisfaction of thy heart. Thy heart renewed its youth. Thou producest thee, the stars in the celestial heights are obedient unto thee, and the great doors of the sky open themselves before thee. Thou art he to whom praises are ascribed in the southern heaven, and thanks are given for thee in the northern heaven. The imperishable stars are under thy supervision, and the stars which never set are thy thrones. Offerings appear before thee at the decree of Keb. The companies of the gods praise thee, and the gods of the two odd, other world, smell the earth in paying homage to thee. The uttermost parts of the earth go before thee, and the limits of the skies entreat thee with supplications when they see thee. The holy ones are overcome before thee, and all Egypt offereth thanksgiving unto thee when it meeteth thy majesty. Thou art the shining spirit body, the governor of spirit bodies. Permanent is thy rank, established is thy rule. Thou art the well-doing Satan, power of the company of the gods, gracious is thy face, and beloved by him that saith it. Thy fear is set in all the lands by reason of thy perfect love, and they cry out to thy name making it the first of names, and all people make offerings to thee. Thou art the Lord who are commemorated in heaven and upon earth. Many are the cries which are made to thee at the Ewok festival, and with one heart and voice Egypt rise at cries of joy to thee. Thou art the great chief, the first among thy brethren, the prince of the company of the gods, the stablisher of right and truth throughout the world, the son who was set on the great throne of his father Keb. Thou art the beloved of thy mother Nut, the mighty one of valor, who overthrew the Sabau fiend. Thou didst stand up and smite thine enemy, and set thy fear in thine adversary. Thou dost bring the boundaries of the mountains. Thy heart is fixed, thy legs are set firm. Thou art the heir of Keb and of the sovereignty of the two lands, Egypt. He hath seen his splendors, he hath decreed for him the guidance of the world by thy hand as long as times endure. Thou hast made this earth with thy hand, and the waters, and the winds, and the vegetation, and all the cattle, and all the feathered fowl, and all the fish, and all the creeping things, and all the wild animals thereof. The desert is the lawful possession of the son of Nut. The two lands, Egypt, are content to crown thee upon the throne of thy father, like Ra. Thou rollest up into the horizon, thou hast set light over the darkness, thou sendest forth air from thy plumes, and thou floodest the two lands like the disc at daybreak. Thy crown penetrateth the height of heaven, thou art the companion of the stars, and the guide of every god. Thou art beneficent in decree and speech, the favored one of the great company of the gods, and the beloved of the little company of the gods. His sister, Isis, hath protected him, and hath repulsed the fiends, and turned aside calamities of evil. She uttered the spell with the magical power of her mouth. Her tongue was perfect, and it never halted at a word. Beneficent in command and word was Isis, the woman of magical spells, the advocate of her brother. She sought him untiringly, she wandered round and round about this earth in sorrow, and she alighted not without finding him. She made light with her feathers, she created air with her wings, and she uttered the death wail for her brother. She raised up the inactive members of whose heart was still, she drew from him his essence, she made an heir, she reared the child in loneliness, and the place where he was not known, and he grew in strength and stature, and his hand was mighty in the house of Keb. The company of the gods rejoiced, rejoiced, at the coming of Horus, the son of Osiris, whose heart was firm, the triumphant, the son of Isis, the heir of Osiris. References following is a list of frequently mentioned geographical locations, and their commonly known names, Atu Abu Anu Bast Hansu Hasle Talk Amenu Abidos Elephantine Heliopolis Bubistis Heracleopolis Memphis Hermopolis Permenu Kerch Sasle Kamsu Atatu Tu Lan Zunu Panopolis Elephantine Sais Lado Polis Asilip Bas Iris Upper and Lower Egypt Hermopolis Ahem of Praise to Ra When he are in the eastern part of heaven, behold, the Osiris Anni, the scribe of the holy offerings of all the gods, saith, Homage to thee, O thou who hast come as Kepera. 
Keper of the creator of the gods, thou art seated on thy throne, thou risest up in the sky, illumining thy mother, Nut, thou art seated on thy throne as the king of the gods. Thy mother Nut stretcheth out her hands, and performeth an act of homage to thee. The domain of man receiveth thee with satisfaction. The goddess Nut